Hi there. Now for this part of the question, we're told that the coefficient of x in this expansion here is 4,416 and asked to find the value of c. Now we've got 3 plus cx all squared times 2 plus 5x to the power 6. So we already know the expansion of 2 plus 5x to the power 6 from the previous part. But as for 3 plus cx all squared, what I'm going to do is expand that first of all. So 3 plus cx times another 3 plus cx, if we expand that, it's going to give us the first term squared, 3 squared, which is 9. We end up with two lots of the product here, 3 times cx. So 3 cx doubled is going to be 6 cx. And then you get the last term squared, cx times cx is c squared x squared. And all of this is being multiplied by the expansion of 2 plus 5x to the power 6. Now, we found out the first three terms in the previous part of that expansion. They were 64 for the first term, 960x for the second term, and the third term was plus 6000x squared. And there were other terms, okay, so I'll just put plus and so on. Now, when it comes to looking at the coefficient, we'll just write this in here, the coefficient of x, then in this expansion, we can see that we're going to get coefficients of x when we multiply the 9 with the 960x here. So 9 times 960, let's just put it down here. We're going to therefore have 9 times... 960. We'll work that out in a moment. Then we'd go on to 6cx multiplied by all of these terms in the bracket here, but the coefficient of x, the one that's going to give us an x term, is just going to be 6cx times the 64. So for the coefficient, it'll be just 6c times 64. So we've got plus 6c times the 64. We won't have any more x terms, because when we come to multiplying this term with any of these terms, we're going to get terms of x squared, x cubed, x to the 4, and so on. So there's our coefficient of x. Now we know that that is equal then to 4,416. So it's just a question of just solving this equation. And if we multiply this out, 9 times 960, you're going to get 8,640. Next term here, 6c times 64 gives us 384c, and that's going to be equal to the 4,416. So what can we do? We could take away 8,640 from both sides. We therefore have 384c then equals 4,416, take away 8,640, gives us minus 4,224. If I now divide both sides by 384, then I'm going to need a calculator for that one, 384. If you do that, you find out that C turns out to be minus 11. Okay?